Hello friends, welcome to Planning P6. Hope you are doing well. Today we are here with the topic of update progress. How we can update the progress in Primavera P6 with the short keys. As we discussed previously about apply actual options. Now in the same tab tools, there is option of update progress. How we can use that one? What is the purpose of that option? As you know, we are going with the sequence of the tutorials that uh, if i have op opened my primavera p6 we completed these all tabs there is some changes like uh, here uh, the primavera in 20.12 version they app, uh, add the activity critical path option we will discuss about when we complete this then we come back and discuss about this option activity critical path which is very benefit beneficiary for us so here in the tools there is option for the update progress in Primavera P6 as I already opened the a project and this project has been I give the name of the update progress the same projects with the previously working I just uh, check in the and uh, then we will update the progress I change the name of the project so in the tools the update progress option actually in this apply actuals and update progress options the update progress options and apply actuals it will not complete the activities which has no resources it is also completed the miles uh, on the resources activities not milestones and without resources activities these activities you have to update manually suppose here in the update progress option if we want to update some of activities here we have when we apply the actual activities what is the difference between the update progress and apply actual activity is that apply actual will be applied for the entire project you cannot segregate the activities some of activities you cannot update it until the previous activity you give the drive and the previous activity will be updated whenever you give the date for the putting it will update the all of the activities but the update progress you have the option to apply the selected activities and highlighted activities as i described in my previous tutorials there is a separate complete tutorial on the highlight of activities with the spotlight with the filters these all i have already described you can create a filter for the highlight of activity from here you can update a filter create a filter and check on this column highlight activities in current layout which match the criteria you have to select and create a filter for that one and then select this highlight option so you can whenever you will watch that tutorial you can have idea how we can use the highlight the activity with the help of filter so without wasting the time i have changed the time scale here to in days here the time scale i have changed to the in days week and days so not quarter per month not, not year per month so first of all we will update as selected activities some activities we will select here and just see the dates 28th of january 2022nd so go and update progress here you can see the option current data date here we will change up to what is the, our final date is 28th so we will give the 29th of january select and now we will do the selected activities only okay apply okay now you can see which activities we have selected here it will update and actuals are applied to that activities as well also here in the layout you can see the activities are completed as the plan it will not update it is planned it will complete as planned activities so suppose this activity we will go to the milestone it is also completed and initially this activity is also without resources it will also complete but in the actual apply actual option the milestones and without resources activities will not completed in the update progress option what whatever you selected the activities will be progress suppose here the activity start date its schedule will complete because you are scheduling the projects then otherwise actuals are not complete so now we will do select highlight the some activities suppose here we highlight these activities go to the here and apply the spotlight now these activities has been highlighted one two three four these activities and now we have to 
update the again the schedule just see the date of the 21 21st of february so go to the tools and update progress here and uh, go to the february and 22nd we will select here select 22nd and based and uh, always recalculate is the best option but you can do the based on the activity duration type as well apply it okay now you can see here that activities which we have selected activities are completed are updated but which we not selected this activity is only updated the schedule percent complete but performance is not if you are calculating by any other ways you have the option to see the physical units duration cost percent completes and etc here if we go in the gantt chart you can see these activities are up to here are completed and also you can expand or close the filters suppose we are selecting again the activities and go to the spotlight here these activities are you can expand up to the date like that from the gantt chart from the gantt chart you will go by this expand by day this one and now these all activities are updated suppose these activities are updated now we will go and update the activities up to the 7th of april you can do whatever your data date is so you can have a option all highlighted activities and we will go to the up to the suppose 31st of march select it okay apply okay now you can see up to 31st of march all activities has been updated this activity is in starting on 31st of march that's why it's updated 38.33 percent this is how this option you can use if you have the project of 100 or 500 activities you can use by the selected activities if you completed four five six as planned activities as you mentioned in the baseline and project is going very well then you can have the option to select activities or highlight activities and update the progress like that this is a very short way to update with resource without resources activities milestones and the activities which have the resources in primavera p6 for the highlight activity go and search our youtube channel right in the go to the planning p6 channel and search video as highlight activities how we can highlight activities this tutorial will come up in front of you just write highlight activities and why did that tutorial how you can highlight the activities with the help of filter hopefully this tutorial is helpful for you people we will have too many tutorials and too many after the completing this schedule primo p6 software we will come up for the reports daily monthly weekly cash flows flow charts dashboards and different standards and procedure of planning and monitoring these we have in our mind and we will share with you people please like share and comment on our tutorials thanks for watching allah hafiz